Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about acute appendicitis in pregnancy. So acute appendicitis is the commonest cause of abdominal pain in pregnancy and is the most common cause also of the surgeries that are performed for non-obstetrical causes in the pregnancy. 25% cases of surgeries that happen because of non-obstetric cause happens due to appendic appendicitis, acute appendicitis. If you find out the incidence, that will be 1 in 150 to 2,000 pregnancies. Now, how it presents, everybody knows that it presents with, with, with abdominal pain, it presents with abdominal pain initially it is where in the central abdomen and then it shifts to the right lower quadrant of the abdomen because of gravid uterus the natural location of appendix at McBurney's point is shifted so this is umbilicus So here the umbilical uh, here is the anterior superior iliac spine and here is the McBurney's point. So in in gravid uterus, especially in third trimester, in which the appendicitis is actually common, the appendix is shifted to backwards and laterally and downwards too. So what happens actually? The pain is not exactly there where it it is there in the known pregnant patients okay what is the modality of uh, investigation ultrasound is specific but sometimes it may not be very conclusive but most of the time it is uh, it is showing that that uh, diagnosis is can be uh, established so again usg is again very not conclusive CT scan is the choice, but with radiation exposure, many people try to avoid this CT. They go for ultrasound. If the findings on, uh, of if the clear cut findings of uh, acute appendicitis is there, then they will go for surgery rather than going for CT scan. Okay. The problem arises with appendicitis is perforation. If perforation happens. That is problematic because because of the perforation secondary peritonitis develops and because of that secondary peritonitis premature delivery happens and that increases the fetal mortality. So if you see the numerators, 8% mortality, fetal mortality is there in the cases of acute appendicitis with perforation. But without perforation only 2% mortality is there. So so what this suggests what whenever you find out that yes it can be appendicitis early involvement of the surgeons and go for uh, uh, surgery is the actually very important these are some radiological findings of appendix on ultrasound you can see here this one is appendix like a peristaltic non compressible dilated appendix more than 6 mm outer diameter okay it appears round when compression is applied because it is not Compressible, generally it is compressible. Acoustic shadowing can be done. Distinct appendicial wall layers can be seen. All these things or findings are actually of radiological importance. So I am not discussing those things very well in uh, uh, in here in this lecture. So color Doppler is also important, but when the necro necro uh, necrosis happens, the color Doppler is lost. So what I am trying to tell you that leave this thing diagnosing to the radiologist once this thing is happened that acute appendicitis is established by the radiologist and with the clinical symptoms refer the case to the surgeons involvement of the surgeons earlier is the key in this particular problem okay now what can be the management surgery is the management in most of the cases now surgery can be done by either by open or laparoscopic surgery Laparoscopy is on the increasing trend. So, laparoscopic appendectomy is uh, standard care of procedure in today's surgical field. So, 
even in the third trimester it can be done because 15 mm hg of pressure that intraperitoneal pressure is well, is well uh, tolerated by the fetus in the uterus what pro what causes the problem in third trimester in third trimester the entry point in laparoscopic has a very difficulty uh, and uh, the complication can be there so rather than going for blind varus needle insertion or blind primary trocar insertion which is done in most of the gynecological surgeries here we should go for open hessen technique in which the first trocar or first needle is inserted with direct visualization so lesser the chances of uterine perforation is there so this technique should be used by the most surgeons pre operative antibiotics is very must because because there is a risk uh, to decrease the risk of peritonitis because once peritonitis happens there is no role of surgery pregnancy has to be terminated now if pregnancy is near term suppose it is 37 plus 3 and patient comes with the appendicitis go for cesarean section 2 because we with one surgery uh, the thing will happen this is some um, one of the only some known obstetrical causes of cesarean section is there because in third trimester it's very difficult to uh, do to go for a surgery of appendicitis and if peritonitis develop then you you have to go for again the labor or either cesarean section so two consecutive surgeries avoided and instead of one surgery which also involves appendectomy and cesarean section should be performed so i think this was very practical knowledge about acute appendicitis in the pregnancy i am not discussing the very particular that uh, part in that we that we learn in the surgery that acute appendicitis is the reason the symptoms uh, the conservative management everything no i am here concerning on only for the obstetric part thank you friends